Do you want to come sailing with me on my friend George's boat? <laughs> no. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most epic sea voyages ever. The course was a difficult one. South to Sierra Leone, enduring storms and long calms. All hands were safe. Not one life had been lost. For this list, we'll be looking at the most impressive, dangerous, or otherwise historically noteworthy journeys taken across the high seas. Since we're focusing on documented expeditions, we'll be excluding the no less grand cruises of mariners whose names are lost to legend. Since these travelogues have inspired many a movie, consider this your spoiler alert. Do any of these adventures stir your wandering heart? Share your travel bucket list or other opinions in the comments below. If you like what you're hearing, be sure to check out the full song at the link below. Number 10. Leif Erikson's Voyage to North America Hey everybody, it's Leif Erikson Day! This Viking came from a long line of famous explorers, including his father Eric the Red, who founded the first settlement in Greenland. Not to be outdone, his son sailed further west, becoming the first European to lead an expedition to North America. It's at this point that the Viking legends then make an extraordinary assertion. A Viking sailor named Leif the Lucky set out onto the treacherous waters of the North Atlantic and reached the American continent 500 years before Columbus. One account claims he heard of the new land from a trader who was blown off course by a storm. Another version says Leif himself stumbled upon it. Either way, traversing the cold, stormy waters of the North Atlantic without GPS or even a magnetic compass was quite the accomplishment. The medieval warrior's new community didn't stand the test of time, but he did manage to return home, ensuring his vanguard of Vikings would eventually get the credit they deserved. Leaving one to ponder, will we ever know the extent of the debt that Columbus owed his Viking predecessors? Number 9. Captain Cook's First Voyage of all this captain's claims to fame, his first journey is his most influential. Full of danger and deception, it almost reads like an adventure novel. The story starts with Cook racing from England to Tahiti to observe the 1769 transit of Venus. After that, secret orders instructed him to search the South Pacific for a hypothetical continent thought to balance out the landmass in the Northern Hemisphere. There's a continent or land of great extent may be found to the southward. You are to proceed to the southward in order to make discovery of the continent. While they never found it, they did become only the second group of Europeans to ever explore New Zealand and Australia. The sailors almost sank on the Great Barrier Reef and finally made it home nearly three years after setting sail. Then the unthinkable. The resolution's foremast, the work of shoddy naval shipwrights, snapped during the violent squall. Cook had no choice. He had to reroute his ships back to the safety of Kealakekua Bay. Cook wasn't as lucky on his third trek when he died while trying to kidnap the King of Hawaii. Number 8. Thor Heyerdahl's Kontiki Expedition Thor Heyerdahl was about to become famous the world over as an explorer, a scientist, and a navigator. If anyone can claim to be a real-life Indiana Jones, it's this Norwegian scholar. Not only did he fight Nazis during World War II, he also led one of the craziest odysseys of modern times. When others laughed at the thought that ancient mariners could cross the mighty Pacific, this scholar put his money where his mast was. And when nobody believed him, uh, he made the decision one day to, to go out and prove it. People thought he was crazy. Yeah, and he, he probably was. <laughs> <laughs> In 1947, Herdal, five other men, and a parrot named Lorita set out from Peru aboard a balsa wood raft. The parrot gradually developed into a real seabird. If it got chilly, Lorita kept warm by performing acrobatics in the gay roads. She hated to waste her time in the cave. Using the winds and currents, they chased the sunset over 4,340 miles of ocean. Though his hypothesis that South Americans colonized Polynesia was wrong, subsequent research proved that pre-Columbian Polynesians had made the same journey, only in reverse. Herdahl's legacy stands as a monument to courage and curiosity. Number 7. Ernest Shackleton's trip from Elephant Island to South Georgia 
Sometimes life isn't a journey. It's a desperate struggle to not become a leopard seal's lunch. Ernest Shackleton and his crew learned this when their ship Endurance got trapped in ice en route to Antarctica. 28 men fought unceasingly to save their ship from the onslaught of the ice. The outside world had no idea of their predicament. After a frosty year, the floating glacier crushed the Endurance. Two harrowing months later, their island started breaking up, forcing the lot to make a treacherous crossing to the nearest barren rock. With no chance of rescue, a small crew set off on a lifeboat with a desperate mission. And this is regarded as one of the epic small boat voyages ever undertaken across some of the steepest, harshest seas in the world, and indeed a feat of navigation by his captain, uh, Frank Worsley. Somehow they crossed 800 miles of the world's roughest seas during a hurricane and 32 miles of snow-capped mountains before finally arriving at a whaling camp. Shackleton wasted no time in rescuing his compatriots, all of whom survived. All hands were safe. Not one life had been lost. Number six, Christopher Columbus's first voyage to the New World. Who was this man whose life was shaped by one great obsession? A man who set in motion forces he could not possibly grasp. Few failures changed history like this seafarer's first voyage. After sailing with no sign of land for weeks, his crew had run out of patience. Fortunately for Columbus, an island was spotted on October 12th. Over the next months, they bumped into Cuba, Haiti, and Hispaniola. Christopher Columbus was about to discover a new world, and within a few short years, turn a paradise into a hell. However, they never found Japan, their original destination, which was 6,000 miles or so further than old Colombo calculated. Before heading home, the Admiral plundered whatever gold, knickknacks, and people he could. Narrowly surviving a storm and capture by the Portuguese, he returned to Spain on March 15, 1493. He was hailed a hero, and a delighted Ferdinand and Isabella continued to bankroll Columbus's voyages. Columbus's travels inspired others such as Giovanni Cabot, better known as John Cabot, who led England's first transatlantic foray only a few years later. Number 5. Francis Drake's Circumnavigation of the Globe this Sea Dogs expedition wasn't the first to circumnavigate the globe, but at least Drake actually made it home in one piece. Not that all his men were so lucky. In fact, so many sailors died on the journey's first leg that two ships had to be scuttled. The Elizabeth turned tail, ended up finding herself back in the strait, and sailed home to England, leaving only the Golden Hind alone in the Pacific. After executing a mutineer, the little armada pushed through the treacherous Straits of Magellan. While only one vessel made it to the Pacific, Drake's daring never cracked. He plundered his way up the New World's west coast, amassing a vast fortune worth hundreds of millions in today's money. After a quick rest in California, Drake pushed on across the Pacific, around Africa, and finally back home, where Queen Elizabeth promptly had him knighted. He was the hero not of the hour, but of the decade. Number four, the first voyage of Vasco da Gama. Bartolomeu Diaz reached the southern tip of Africa in 1488 after battling storms, currents, and a mutinous crew. Using what Diaz learned, nine years later, Vasco da Gama went even further, becoming the first European to sail to India. Along the way, he explored East Africa, bombarded a city, and pirated a few trading ships. He is the first one successfully to get into the Indian Ocean, work his way up the coast of East Africa, and ultimately reach India. When the little fleet finally reached its destination, their modest gifts failed to impress the King of Calicut. It became clear that any real trade would be impossible. So after three months of fruitless effort, they set out for home. Feeling insulted, da Gama decided to kidnap several locals before hightailing it out of Asia. Half his crew died during the return trip, but the adventurer himself survived, becoming a national hero in Portugal, though folks in India and Africa definitely begged to differ. Number 3. Joshua Slocum's Solo Voyage Around the World Slocum's interests were narrow but deep. He was obsessed with the sea, in love with it. In need of some alone time, the seafarer set out on an epic yet solitary venture in 1895. Over the next three years, he single-handedly traversed 46,000 miles of the briny depths to become the first human to solo sail around the planet. Starting in Boston, he crossed the Atlantic after a quick jaunt to Canada. 
Dissuaded from a sunny Mediterranean cruise due to Corsair activity, Slocum reversed course. He visited Brazil before passing through the Straits of Magellan, where a few shoeless pirates boarded his sloop. Finding the deck covered in nails and the captain armed to the teeth, the bandits beat a quick retreat. From there, it was mostly smooth sailing across the Pacific, around Africa, and finally back to Beantown. Number 2. Ferdinand Magellan's Circumnavigation of the Globe in the wake of Columbus's voyages, Spanish expeditions continued pushing further from home. The course was a difficult one, south to Sierra Leone, enduring storms and long calms. In 1513, Ponce de Leon reconnoitered a peninsula he dubbed Florida, though contrary to myth, he probably never searched for the Fountain of Youth. Later that decade, Ferdinand Magellan outdid them all. Planning to reach Indonesia by heading west, he barely suppressed a mutiny before sailing around South America, the first European to do so. With the captain dispatched, the leaderless crew quickly caved in. Magellan took control of the ship and then blocked the other ships from escaping. What was expected to be a quick jaunt across the Pacific turned into a near four-month-long ordeal that saw over two dozen men die, likely due to scurvy. In the Philippines, the explorer's forceful proselytizing got him shanked though his surviving crew carried on, finally reaching home in 1522, completing the first circumnavigation of the globe. Magellan changed the way Europeans navigated. He increased the knowledge of seafaring navigation exponentially. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Jacques Cousteau's Antarctic Expedition. The legendary French oceanographer surveyed Antarctica's frigid coast. Off King George Island and on the shores of volcanic deception, diving explorations were made. And now Calypso travels toward the Antarctic Circle and beyond. James Cameron's descent into the Mariana Trench. The famous director takes a deep dive, plunging 6.8 miles below the ocean's surface. It's the depth Bud Brigman went to in the abyss. I'm doing it for real. Roz Savage paddles the Pacific. This tough-as-nails adventurer quit a job and marriage to row her boat across the world's oceans. And when I finally saw this silhouette on the horizon of Antigua, I was just like, I'm going to get there today if it kills me. So I just cancelled all my breaks. I just rowed solidly for 12 hours. George Vancouver maps Northwest North America. This British captain surveyed the tempestuous dark waters of the Pacific Northwest. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Journey of the Survivors of the Essex oh, ye whale! Ye it, whale! The tragedy of the Essex inspired Herman Melville to write Moby Dick, and the real story is even more terrifying than the novel. The ship sailed from Massachusetts to an offshore whaling ground in the remote South Pacific. While hunting the huge beasts thousands of miles from land, an enraged sperm whale estimated to be 85 feet long sunk the ship with history's hardest headbutt. Now stranded on boats little bigger than surfboards, the 20 men foolishly headed for South America instead of the Marquesas Islands, fearing rumors of man-eating natives. Hey, what are you looking at? I'm fine. Yeah, I'm potted. Fit as a fiddle. In a cruel twist of fate, the survivors themselves resorted to cannibalism before being rescued. While far from a triumph, this nightmare still haunts sailors even 200 years later. Do you agree with our picks? Let us know in the comments. And hey, if you're a fan of the song playing right now, be sure to check out the music video for it right here.